Prostate cancer is considered the most common cancer among men. Roughly 3 million cases are reported in the U.S. every year. But another cancer, testicular cancer, is rising among young men. Dr. Tim Lyon, an urologic oncologist from Mayo Clinic, joins us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Lyon. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us what is the biggest misconception about men's health when it relates to cancer in general? Sure. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that if something doesn't hurt or if I'm not having symptoms, it can't possibly be cancer. And of course, that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, for men with prostate cancer, the, the vast majority actually have no symptoms at all and are diagnosed either through a physical exam or through blood tests. Same is true of testicular cancer, which usually is painless. And there is a rise in testicular cancer, especially in younger men. So what age or stage of life do we typically seem to see men develop that? Well, you're exactly right. Uh, testicular cancer is primarily a disease of younger men. And most people that are diagnosed are actually between the ages of 15 and 35. So I think that's another misconception is that if I'm young, I can't possibly have cancer. And that's not true for testicular cancer. And what symptoms should men look out for, whether it's testicular cancer or prostate cancer? So for testicular cancer, the most common symptom is a painless lump, bump, or mass on the testicle. Of course, if you feel something like that, particularly if you think it's growing, you need to bring it to the attention of your physician. Again, for prostate cancer, most men don't have any symptoms at all, and that's usually found through blood test screening. And what advice do you have for men in their early 20s and 30s? Do they need to see a urologist? How often? Not necessarily, but I do recommend uh, that men perform testicular self-examinations. So this is usually done once a month. I tell guys to do it in the shower. Feel around down there. Make sure you're not feeling any lumps, bumps, firm masses. And if you do, of course, let a physician know. And are these type of cancers curable? So the good news about testicular cancer uh, is that the vast majority of men can be cured with treatment, yes. Well, that's good to know. And as a urologist, any advice for reducing the risk of getting these types of cancers? Sure. So um, I think the best evidence for that is in reducing one's risk for prostate cancer. And we have some pretty good evidence that some lifestyle factors can reduce your risk. Uh, starting with diet, eating a diet rich in proteins and vegetables, trying to reduce animal protein, and particularly uh, lowering your intake of charred meats, which can have some carcinogens, can reduce your risk of prostate cancer. Getting regular exercise, keeping your weight down, avoiding obesity can reduce your risk. And of course, if you smoke, stop and enjoy alcohol in moderation. All of these things can reduce one's risk for prostate cancer. All right. Well, this is wonderful information. Thank you so much, Dr. Lyon, for joining us this morning. Thanks so much for having me.